All right, guys, I got a fairly short video here to show you about a problem I recently solved. Uh, this is a 2000 Toyota Camry. It's got the four-cylinder engine, and it had a P0505 code on the dash. Uh, it was an unusual fix, and I'm going to go over that in a minute here, but let me just do real quick. There's, there's plenty of videos that tell you how to get these throttle bodies off. I'm just going to kind of review it really quick and focus on the real problem for this particular code fix. When you go to take this guy off, there's a 10 millimeter clamp here. You're going to loosen that up and be able to pull this air hose off. You're going to give a squeeze on this electrical connector to this throttle position sensor and remove that. And then coming all around to the front here, uh, there's a gray connector on this uh, idle air control valve. Same kind of deal on Toyota. You give it kind of a squeeze and release it and then wiggle it off. Get a piece of tape and mark this first hose so you know where it goes. Then you're going to remove these two vacuum hoses for the uh, EGR system. And then you're going to take off this clip, give it a pinch, slide it back. And then you're going to remove this hose that goes to the, evap excuse me, the evaporative emission system. At that point, we'll be able to remove these three bolts, 12 millimeter bolts. One here, this one right here. And then there's another one that you can't see, but it's uh, right, right below where we remove this connection. My finger here where you see it. You take these three 12 millimeter bolts off. At that point, this guy's gonna be loosened up. The next thing we'll do is we'll, depending on what kind of cruise control you have, you'll have a, a, a pin and a washer clip here, and then you're gonna need to take this 10 millimeter nut off so you can remove this retainer. And then you'll be able to remove the two 10 millimeter bolts for this throttle cable bracket. And at that point, you'll be able to move the throttle back. And with this retainer out of the way, you'll be able to work this cable off here. And then with these two bolts here removed and the bracket out of the way, you'll be able to remove the, the cruise control cable here from the bottom. At that point, this guy comes right off. Underneath are two um, hoses for the coolant that keeps the idle air control valve at a particular temperature. You'll have a couple of uh, clips like this, a little bit different, but a similar pinch clip style. You'll pull those two off. Just watch out that you don't spill a lot of that. Keep the hoses facing up. And then there's a little metal washer. I'll show you here when this is off between this and the intake. And that's it. That's really all it is to get it off. And like I said, there's other videos that talk about getting these things off. I'm going to focus on disassembling and repairing this throttle body rather than the disassembly and assembly of the unit itself. This one I've actually already fixed. It's back on the vehicle. But let's stop for a second. Let me show you the, the real meat of what this video is about. All right, this is the throttle body assembly removed from that vehicle. And this particular vehicle, like I said, it had a P0505 code. This throttle body was cleaned out extensively. You can see it's very clean in here. It's, you know, we ran it for a little while, maybe a few days because it's still getting the code. But that wasn't the problem. We even had a brand new Toyota branded idle air control valve installed and it still got the code. And it turned out the problem was that this is the wrong unit for the computer. This particular unit is a California emissions throttle body and the computer was a federal, and someone previously put the wrong one on, led to the code, and by the time I got to it, it turned out to be that particular kind of a fix. Let me show you how to tell the difference. First of all, a real, real quick tip on getting these guys off. Get yourself a, a pair of ignition pliers and break the torque on these, these bolts. These are not Phillips head screws. They're a special Japanese type head, a JIN. If you put a Phillips in there, you're likely to strip it. Just break the torque with one of these guys, then you can use a Phillips screwdriver to get it out. But let me show you um, what we're talking about here. This is a disassembled idle air control valve for a California emissions vehicle, and this is one for a Federal. And you can see very clearly the difference in the air intakes. The Federal is smaller, bigger size on the California. Accordingly as well, the Federal and the uh, California gaskets different sizes, right? So the bigger is California. Looking at the throttle bodies themselves, same kind of thing. This is the California. This is the Federal. Another way when you're at the yard without having to do all this disassembly, you can tell the difference. When you look at the very top here, where the Toyota branding is labeled into the casting, see the square, see the round. Federals have a round hump on this casting. Californias have a square hump. 
That's a real quick way to ID these things in the yard, get the right one. But that's what turned out to be causing the P0505 code on this car. If you have the wrong one, it doesn't matter if you've got a brand new Toyota idle air control valve on there, it is still going to code out because the computer is looking for a particular type of airflow in its programming. In this case, the computer wanted this small orifice and it was getting this big one and that's just not going to cut it for the firmware that's installed. And that was the fix. I hope this tip helps you out if you have a real stubborn problem like this. Thanks for watching.